I am manifesting that I'm gonna be an orthodontist someday and someday soon. In this video, I share with you my orthodontic interview journey. Applying to orthodontic residency is very similar to applying to dental school, except it's way more expensive to apply and way more difficult to become accepted. The emotions of applying are similar. At this stage, I've put in half the work, which makes up my residency application. The other half is the interview. It's September 11th today and I haven't received an interview and I've been on SDN and I know that interviews have been sent out already, but I haven't received one yet. So I've been feeling pretty discouraged. Most orthodontic programs accept around five or six students. Some programs take three and a couple of programs only take one. It's extremely difficult to get into an ortho program. So I applied to over 30 schools to better my chances. But even after applying to so many programs, I still wasn't receiving interviews. I didn't receive interviews to the majority of the programs I applied to, but I knew I just needed at least one interview, just one. Um, additionally, the residents are planning a voluntary informal get together or a meet and greet. So at this point, I have you scheduled for October 12th at two o'clock for your interview at Einstein Orthodontics in Philadelphia. Great, that's great news and thank you so much for calling. <laughs> You're very welcome. I'm gonna follow this up because I know you're in the car. Yeah. I'm following this up with an email to you that'll have all of this in there. So just return an email to me telling me, yes, I got it, I got it, I'll be there, okay? okay. Okay, thank you very much. And who was this that I was speaking to again? I'm the chairman and the program director of the residency program. Got it. Okay, thank you so much for your call. I'll look forward to welcome. that email. <laughs> Absolutely, and congratulations. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay, bye -bye. you too. Bye-bye. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. You guys, I got an interview for ortho residency. This school only takes three students and it was the only interview I had, so I knew I had to put in a lot of work to prepare. Okay, so why do you want to be an orthodontist? Okay, I want to be an orthodontist because I want to be an orthodontist. I want to be an orthodontist. I want to be an orthodontist because it is exactly one week before my first interview. I'm so nervous, but I just really have to practice. So what I'm going to do today is practice again. It is October 4th. I am a week and a day away from my interview and I really, really need to practice. So my interview is on the 12th, but it really actually begins the evening of the 11th because on October 11th, we have a dinner with the orthodontic residents. I kind of want to show you guys how my room is set up right now because it's kind of funny. This is what my mentor advised me to do. So let me show you. Look at this. I have people all over the room and these people are the faculty members at the school that I'm going to be interviewing. I have the faculty members all around this wall. So when I walk in, I can practice looking around and saying hi to everyone. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to practice for my interviews. I'm going to get pumped. <laughs> I need to prepare. I can do this. I need to pump myself up. I really, I, I can do this. There's no other option. I'm going to do this. I practiced for hours and hours. I came up with a list of interview questions. I wrote down my ideal answers. And then I did mock interviews with my husband, friends, and my ortho study club faculty from USC, Dr. Tartikal. I could not thank him enough for helping me prepare for interviews. Eventually, I was ready to interview at Albert Einstein Medical Center. I didn't vlog my time there because I didn't want any distractions, but the interview went well. I was lucky enough to receive another interview invite for University of Buffalo. Hey guys, it is October 22nd, the day after my interview. We're exploring the city of Buffalo and we're having so much fun. There's so much to do here. We just finished exploring this amazing dog park called Ellicott Island and it's a humongous dog park surrounded by water and it's on an island. It's the coolest concept ever. If we end up living in Buffalo, I definitely want to live close to this dog park because that is, this is like the coolest dog park I've ever seen and it would be so nice to live by here. I wanted to tell you guys how my interview went yesterday because at my last interview, I didn't let you know how it went, 
mostly because I'm so exhausted after my interview. And yesterday I was so exhausted after my interview as well. Both of my interviews that I've had so far have been two day interviews. The first day is a social, like a little dinner with drinks and appetizers that the residents provide for you. I'm gonna talk about the Buffalo one first since that's the interview I had yesterday. On Thursday, we had a social at this Italian restaurant and they had drinks and appetizers and then it was a nice sit down meal and then we had some residents sit down at the tables and then the residents would rotate every so often to each table so we can get to know each other. So the dinner before the interview is a nice casual way for you to get to know the residents and it's supposed to be like a stress-free, not a formal event. The attire is casual and it says jeans are okay, but if you're gonna go to a social the day before the interview, I recommend not wearing jeans because at both of the socials that I've gone to, nobody has worn jeans. Or maybe there have been a couple people who've worn jeans, but the majority of the people are not wearing jeans and they're dressed really nice with like a blazer. And then the day of the interview, for the Buffalo interview, it's an all day thing. It's from 7.30 in the morning until around 3.30 or 4 p.m. The interview with the faculty is about an hour long. It's like 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 20 minutes. So about an hour. But the entire time before that, you're just mingling with the residents. And I consider that as being part of the interview because I'm pretty sure the residents have a say in whether you get in or whether you don't get in. The entire day is very tiring because you're talking to so many people all day long. We went on a tour, we watched a couple slideshows. I really love the school. I had a great experience. It seemed like their residents really enjoy being there. So we will see if I match there. On f Monday, so in a couple days, I have another interview. It's a virtual interview and we will see how that goes. It is Monday, October 24th. Today I have another interview and it is my last scheduled interview. I'm still hoping I get one more interview from USC. I'm still waiting for them to send out interview invitations. I haven't received one yet. We're almost in November, so we will see if I get one or not. Two days later, on October 26th, I finally received an ortho interview from my alma mater, USC. I quickly booked my flight because the interview was in less than two weeks on November 7th. Hey guys, so I am in Chicago. It is the following day. It is Sunday, November 6th, daylight savings, and I'm not in LA yet, but we're heading there. We're on our way. What a crazy day yesterday. Yesterday, I was supposed to be in LA around 6, 7 p.m., but the flight, it, it didn't get there. So our plane diverted because of some winds, and then because we diverted, we needed to get extra gas. So instead of landing in Chicago where I was supposed to take my connecting flight, we landed in Indianapolis and then a bunch of people got off the plane and I didn't make it to my connecting flight. I didn't make my connecting flight. They rebooked me for the following day, which is today. They rebooked me for the following day, but the flight didn't go straight from Chicago to LA. It went from Chicago to Denver, Colorado. That's where I'm at right now. I'm in the Denver, Colorado airport waiting for my next flight to LA. I'm so happy and kind of lucky that I was able to get some rest because they didn't book us a hotel. Like for example, the airline, the airline I flew with is Southwest. They didn't book us a hotel or anything, even though my layover was over eight hours. They said it's because it was due to weather, which I understand, but it was so inconvenient. It was so inconvenient. I didn't have a place to stay. All the hotels around the airport were booked out. Luckily, I made a friend. I made a friend. I don't know if I told you guys, I made a friend, Sonia. Hello. Did I say that correctly? Yes, you did. And she booked a hotel and let me stay with her, which was super nice. It was at the Hilton. It was a pretty expensive hotel. I wouldn't have been able to afford it or book it on my own, but I'm so thankful that I met her and that I was able to stay with her. I'm so happy I found her and yeah, we got pizza. We got deep dish pizza at Luminanti's and made the most out of Chicago.
So we shared a queen, uh, king bed yesterday and I was able to get a couple hours of sleep. It was more than a couple hours. I went to bed around 10, 10, 10 11 p.m. and then had to wake up at 3.30 in the morning, but it was daylight saving. So really it was like around 4.30 in the morning, but also there's a time change because I was flying. So I don't know how many hours of sleep I really got, but it was more than a couple. I'm headed to LA soon. My sister's gonna pick me up and then I'm gonna see some of my friends. And then tonight I have the social before the USC interview. Hi guys, I'm getting ready for the social before the interview at USC. This is the fit. I'm wearing a black Aritzia shirt. I'm wearing these plaid pants. I don't know where they're from. And I'm gonna wear some little booties, I'll show you. And I've been wearing this exact same outfit for all of my other socials before the interview. Usually when you get the invitation, it says casual. I would recommend not wearing jeans because from my experience, nobody's wearing jeans. Everyone is somewhat dressed up a little bit more but this is a casual shirt so i'm dressing the shirt up a little bit more with the pants let me show you the little booties i'll be right back okay i went and got the booties and my little blazer which isn't that formal i have a more formal one for the actual interview so this is the entire fit for the social these are the little booties and yeah that's what i'm wearing all right wish me luck bye bye we have reached the end, the very end of my interview process. I am I just left LA, I'm currently in Denver, Colorado, waiting to get on my flight to Philly so I can go back to work, but this is the end. I had my last interview at USC, it went great, I tried my best, now it's just crossing fingers and waiting until match day, which is less than two weeks away. It's on November 21st on a Monday. I've never been more nervous. I'm mostly just scared to not match into a program because I don't know what I will do. Thank you guys so much for joining me along and hopefully I'll have good news to share on match day.